Okay, right now, you know something. Right now, you're sitting at your church, correct? No. You're not sitting. At, you know, so I'm I got to ask you. You, you, you are, you're the cussing I'm pastor. Yo, I'm in my studio in my house. Okay. The you, the building, I'm not doing, no longer I'm doing virtual since the pandemic. Uh, and after I spent half a million dollars of my of my own money uh, <laughs> for ministry uh, and the pandemic hit, I've been doing it from virtually. Okay, so you no longer have a physical building. No longer have a physical building. Understood. How large is your online congregation? Well, thousands listen to me every week and every night. So I guess that will be my congregation. If if you don't mind me asking, because again, I, I started this conversation off by saying you are very non-traditional. You are. I, no. I don't think it would be no argument there. No, no. Who who are these people who are following you? Are, are, are they following you for the word of God? Or are they following you because you you you're person and you're arguing and 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 you are saying things that the average preacher, pastor, minister would never say from the pulpit? Well, first of all, I'm not average. Second of all, my shows that are aired daily are not full of preaching. Preaching is not the spewing of religious religious words. I deal with issues. I deal with all types of issues. I'm dealing now in Memphis. I'm the one that broke the story on a young man by the name of Tyree Nichols, the young man that was beaten yep. in Memphis uh, by five black police officers. There are so many things in this country and in the black community that's possible that I'm not going to sit every night on the air and talk about, oh, he died. No, no. I ain't got to pull my ear. We all know that he died. But when are we as a people going to raise? When are we going to get up off our damn knees and do something with that law? We waiting on you to come, and he waiting for you to get up off your ass and make a change yourself. So that's you, why. That's why ahead. I'm not traditional. For many years, I was until I started reading and studying myself. I believe, like many of you that go to your missionary about this church and your church of God in crisis, you, you have not studied for yourself. And you have only the nature of your pastor. You take it on his nature. You, you take it on everything that he teaches you. Like he teaches you. And many people go with this. If it ain't in the King James Virgin of the Bible. Don't believe it. Not knowing that King James was a homosexual. Uh, but you you hate the sissy in the church and you read the word out Bible sissy. And you say that don't believe nothing that's in not in the Bible. That everything that Jesus did it's in them 66 books, even though he's absent from 12 to 30. I, I guess I don't know what Jesus went since you said uh, ain't nothing. In, don't you think Jesus did something in the missing years? And then when you go, go to the book of John, the last chapter of John and almost the last verse of John, it says, if everything that Jesus did was could be contained in books, there would not be enough books on earth 
to contain them. So dismiss me with this thought of you know Jesus and you you know everything that Jesus is, whose real name is Yahshua, not Jesus, because that was no letter J in the Greek or the Hebrew language 2,020 years. And the name Yahshua was the name that was used for Jesus. We accept the word Jesus, and I ain't got no problem with the wordology. But too many of us are worried about having the word on paper and we ain't got it here, brother. We ain't got God here. Because if we as a people had God here, man, we wouldn't have all the killings that's going on in this year. I was talking this morning. I just got off the radio. 11, 11 year I do, I play the blues and Southern Soul every morning on the radio. 11 year old, 11 years old, since the beginning of the year, been arrested 19 times. Car theft, burglary, strong arm robbery at 11 years old. And the church, all you, all you want to give me that bullshit on Sunday morning, the 11 year old, while the preacher on Sunday morning getting your tithes and the offerings and telling you he died and he rose on the third day. Uh, and that's another story. Uh, here in Memphis, an 11-year-old, 11, not 12, 13, or 14, an 11-year-old has been arrested 19 times this year. Burglaries, car thefts, more than one. Strong arms, robberies. Well, you 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 want to talk about God and what we need to do for His people? But hell, you ain't doing nothing about these sorry ass mamas in these in our communities and these no good fathers in our community that are not raising their children. You think that Sunday morning is it? That's what the so-called, quote-unquote, Christian wants to do. He wants to all only serve God on Sunday. But what about your fellow man? What about these children? What about raising up them up in the way they should go and not the way that they want to go? That's my message, brother. I don't give a fuck about having pastor's anniversaries and and. and having the little quiet day and the, the big quiet day, uh, the yellow hat Sunday. That's, that's, it's all about money, brother. That's all about money. It ain't about lies. It, it, you go to church, I talk about financial empowerment. You go to church on Sunday morning, you get a little tithes and offerings, and then when you leave church, you can't even go by church's chicken and get your two-pack because you've been submitted to church robbery and nothing has been put back into you how to fill your pockets up again. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move and I'll catch you all on the next video.